Welcome back to Blar, Random Rick Reviews. We're going to take a quick look at this amazing Spider-Man two-player starter set. This uh, one came out in 2020. Got it at Ollie's for $9.99. Not a bad price. This game is fun. It is collectible, though. But you can play these two-player starter sets by themselves, just as a game, which is nice. Which I kind of suggest maybe you, you do it that way. <laughs> like a two-player starter set, I'm like, okay, we're going to play Spider-Man today. Uh, they have other ones, like Green Lantern and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to unbox this, uh, see what cards we get. It looks like we're going to get 44 custom dice, 12 basic action dice, 16 character dice, uh, and 16 sidekick dice. 38 cards, 24 character cards, 10 basic action cards, 4 color uh, reminder cards, and 2 dice bags. When you say dice bags, you mean these terrible little paper bags, but let's open it up here. So I did play this when it was initially out kind of the problem is being a, like a ccg for the most part lots of rules so it's best if you find someone who knows how to play and just explains it to you because there's a lot of like different phases of course as to what your board is going to look like what you play on so you're over here well, this is to your side, actually, and then you would have their side. So as you can see, there's a lot going on. Your dice are going to go in a bag. You roll the dice. You put them in a reserve pool. You recruit them into a field zone. And then you have to attack. If you get KO'd, you go to a KO pile. And stuff in your prep area goes into your reserve pool. And you put back, dice back in your bag. It's a lot. It's a kind of a lot. But once you, I guess, are taught with someone who knows how to play, it goes okay. Uh, there's still a lot going on. I don't know what the state of the game is now. To me, I had an issue with this thing called Global, where, like, on printed cards, everyone could use the ability, and it just got... Just, like any other kind of trading card game, it's going to be a, a meta issue, where, like, certain things are just better, and everyone just plays that. A few different things, and it makes things kind of boring after a while. Uh, but it is a fun game. That's... Cool concept. Yeah, so these dice bags are just little paper bags. Kind of cool. They used to just be like, uh, I think a green and a blue bag. So they put some art on here. It looks like you have different art. Yeah, Spider-Man back here. Huh. All right. What do we got over here? Nice. So you got some different art on these bags. So that's kind of cool. You really just want to use like a Dungeon Dragons, you know, like felt dice bag. That's cool. You put art on here though. That used to not be a thing. There are cards. Here are the dice you're going to be rolling. I'm going to leave them <laughs> in right now because they'll get everywhere and it'll take me forever to put them back in. Um, so these are your character dice. So that's going to be like Spider Man. I will get the cards out so we can see those at least. Uh, these are just like your reminders of your basic actions. They're going to be like in the middle of the table where anyone can buy basic actions. You bring two, and I believe your opponent brings two, and you set them like on top of these, and then anyone can buy from that card pool. Are these four card pools? All right, let's see who we have here. We have our checklist. So there's like a recruit cost. Um, this is what you do, spin all your character dice one level up, or if you get double stars, uh, I can't remember what that is, I think it's, like I said, it's been so long, um, I don't know, these are action dice, so you know, spin, blah, 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 so basic actions, we have great power, web blast, true believer, uh, Spidey's Last Stand. So here's one of those global abilities I was talking about. So these, you pay a punch. Which is a fist icon on a basic dice. And anyone, and anyone can do this at any time. But during their turn. So, when fielded, when this character attacks, ability damage. You'll deal one damage to target opponent. So it's like a free burn. 
well, it's not free, but it's, it's a burn that anyone can use. Uh, great responsibility, exposed, uh, betrayal, back for seconds. Well, lots of action cards. Okay, there's our action cards. All right, now we have some character cards. Let's move those closer. Let it further back. Focus is a little off here. Let's see if I can make it a little bit better. Jeez. Not really. Uh, White Tiger also has global. So you get a four, a three, and a two. So there's two costs. They're blank. You just get a character out there for like blocking. We got Spider Woman here. So it'll be like, they'll have another name for different card. So Agent, Lady Liberator. And it does like that underdog was a newer term. I'll tell you what it does. Secret Avenger. And then the dice down here are like the power levels. So her dice is this one. Hopefully it's cost one. And then I think it's attack is two, defense is five. Spider-Man himself, unmask. Not a fan of that art really at all. So we got a couple of these. He has a global, and a global silver, silver sable. I do like Silver Sable. Right. I have no idea if these cards are good or bad. I'm sure usually in every set there's some good cards that people put into play. But again, this is 2020, so they're probably, you know, cycled out. Kingpin. Ghost Rider. Got Drax. Oddly enough. Carnage. Hmm, no Venom. Well, Carnage, Drax, Ghost Rider, Kingpin, Silver Stable, Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and White Tiger. Those are the cards we get. So these are your character dice. So, like I said, that's Spider Woman, as you can see here. Uh, Carnage is here. Ghost Rider, of course, is the skull. Drax is green. Uh, that's Kingpin, I believe. This would be White Tiger. And that looks like Silver Sable. So a lot of stuff's pretty easy to find, and yeah. So if you do want to play it, I think 10 bucks is a decent entry price in the set. I don't know if it's the best set. Seems okay. They all play okay on the two-player starters, I think. And you can mix and match. I don't think it matters like what team, if I remember. It doesn't, you don't have to be teamed up. You got bad guys and good guys on your team. So if you looked into getting into Dice Masters, I would I would say definitely grab one of the cheaper ones. Um, I think Ollie's has a a sale going on right now, and ten bucks isn't the worst price. Say so I listed at fifteen. Uh, I think I usually see the Green Lantern one also pretty cheap, or actually it might be not the Green Lantern. I think I'm Age of Ultron. It's also a cheaper one you can get into. It's a fun game. I wouldn't mind playing it again. I know there's a like Discord and stuff, but I don't, I don't like playing over webcam that much, if at all. But some cool cards. Nice art. So if you want to check it out, go grab one from Ollie's. Uh, Amazon probably has Age of Ultron pretty cheap as well. Uh, these, there were a lot of them. 
Now, if you have an Ollie's near you, so they may get discounted eventually because there are a lot of them from what I could tell. Like a, at least a, like a box full. All right. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.